Hello, and welcome back to Rexar Plays Amnesia. This is episode 2, which is also probably going to be cut to 15 minutes to ensure that the episode works properly and everything before I start the 30 minute episodes. Um, I fixed the loading screen glitch, so now the loading screens should actually show rather than being cut away for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, because I realized that sometimes the loading screens has a bit of tidbit of information here and there and a bit to the, the storyline and it might be good to keep those in. But in case you would like me to remove the, the loading screens again, feel free to comment and tell me and I will re-enable the loading screen cutting function and yeah. So, let's continue. Um, should probably go down here. Um, well, I suppose we could uh, go down here first. Let's see, what is this? Wine cellar. Oh, okay. I am the key for the rope. Yeah. I can do that. Can I? Ah, yes, I can go directly into mementos. That is awesome. But it's. Well, I suppose we can go into here. Okay, so hopefully this loading screen shouldn't be cut. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of whatever. Oh, dear lord. Oh, goodness. That is very, very extremely unpleasantly dark. Oh, god. Ugh. Sorry. Headphones being weird. Yes, let's light that because that makes very much diff. Okay. No, thank you. Oh god! Ugh. All these freaky, freaky, freaky noises. No. Oh, thank god for it. I should probably be very conservative with the oil to avoid. Well, thankfully, I can actually see without. Oh, oh god. Oh god. What was that? Ugh. Probably a flashback. But still. Ugh. Lighting all the lights. Thank you. Lighting this. Ah, coziness. Oh, Hello, little fishy. Or whatever you are. Oh god. Yeah, flashback. Well, there should be more coop right. Let me see and see. And one part aqua force. Okay, so apparently I'll Alexander, was it? He's mixing things. Right. Here we have this thing and a note. No reading? Okay. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. Vitae. Vit I have no idea how to pronounce that. Vitae. Vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the coprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was successful, the solution is highly acidic and provides impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Congratulations, you invented. 18th century detergent, I guess. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Hmm, okay. So he tried to do something and it did not work. Chair, go away, please. Oh god. Ugh. 
Yeah, it's a minor battery. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and a long for life, oh, and long for life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraints. Where I only crave for fair judgment and a safe return. Okay. So. I have no idea what that is. And I don't know who made it or wrote it or created it or spoke into it. But. Well then. Okay. Uh huh. What's this? Lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So. Onwards to the wine cellar, I guess. Just here. Oh, I need light. And of course. Any hidden secrets? Ugh. Fakey, fakey boxes. No. Okay. How the hell do we... Oh, now I can sprint. I tried the freaking shift key and it didn't work. Now it works. Perfect. Oh well. At least I can go from point A to point B faster now. Yay. Onwards. Ugh. So used to using the E key. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul, lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Huh. Okay. Oh! Oh lordy! What the hecky heck is a lady doing here? Well, I suppose we should try and save her. Or something. Okay. Uh huh. Alrighty then. This is in a certain inaccessible room. Aha. Eh? Uh -huh. Tinderbox. I see you down there. What's this? Archives. Yay. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. Okay. Is that like... Alexander, or... I have no idea who that is. Why are we suddenly talking about boys and hitting things with rocks? Oh god. Them background sounds. No. No. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Yay, British Museum. Okay. So, are there any hidden artifacts in these drawers? Nope. Not even some oil. Mm -hmm. Let's go in here. So, oh dear, that is very, very dark. No, thank you very much. 
Yes, that is not ominous in the slightest. No. No. Go away. Um, anything? Well, tinderbox is something. Books that I cannot move. Okay, seriously, that background noise is really, really, really not very nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What was that? What was that? No. 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 I'm just going to go over here and hide in this corner now. Forever. Because that was very very freaky okay and if you can't tell I even though I have seen this being played that was quite some time ago so I can't really remember where the monsters are supposed to pop up and start trying to eat my face so yeah I am rather jumpy right now. Oh, tin box. Oh, God damn it. I forgot the oil again. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Hold on. Also, my apologies for my very, very, very squeaky chair. It, it loves to squeak with the slightest movement. Okay. Oh god. I'm supposed to, I was, what? Who be playing? Oh, here's one oil, get one oil, yay. I should probably not be wandering around in absolute darkness, yeah. This is not okay. Huh. Wasn't someone playing in here? Oh God, what was that? Oh Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh dear me. I so do not like this. Is this where I am? Oh, right. This is the, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need to cut the episode here. Um, I'll see you in the next part. Until then, I'm just gonna cower in this corner forever. So, yeah. See you in the next part.